Right then, now we've heard, of course, from the Banks uh, Association, but let's move on to the main issues. The Kenyan president has approved the law. What happens next? Here are the five things you need to know. First of all, of course, when exactly does this law come into force? Well, under Kenyan law, the law has to be uh, within seven days of assent. It has to be published in the Kenya Gazette, the document of record, as it were. After that, there's another 14 days into which it will come into force. Unless, of course, the version that he signed had a specific commencement date. Now, by that timeline, therefore, the earliest the Banking Act can come into force is somewhere around the 15th of September. Now, those of you who have followed this law very keenly will ask, hang on, but the central bank was against this thing. Well, you would be absolutely right. On the 28th of July, the central bank, quote, expressed concern about the adverse consequences of capping rates, and that includes things like inefficiencies in the credit market, credit rationing, the promotion of informal lending, and undermining the effectiveness of monetary policy. This is where things start to change, though. On the 24th of August, when the bill was assented to, the central bank, in response to our query, said, quote, they had no statement on this matter at this time. Now, amidst all this excitement and all this drama about rate caps, we've forgotten that there are quite a few unanswered questions around implementation. The Institute of Economic Affairs CEO Kwame Wino was the first to point this out. Since the way the bill was drafted, all it said was this. The maximum rate is going to be set at no more than 4%, the base rate, right, set and published by the central bank of Kenya. That sounds pretty innocuous, but in practice, these are the questions it leads to. You see, the central bank, right, sets at least two different base rates. So which one are we referring to? The central bank rate, which is 12.5%, or are we talking about the benchmark rate for retail lending, which is KBRR, and that's much lower, at about 8.9%. Until the central bank clarifies that within the next 21 days, hopefully, we just don't know. It's also not clear exactly what was meant by the calculation of the final applicable rates. Depending on how you exactly interpret that, you can end up with two completely different answers. For example, are we just loading 400 basis points on top of CBR or whatever that base rate is? Or are we adding 4% of the base rate on top of the base rate? And all of those, as you can see, give you wildly different answers. Here's the big kicker, though. Will this affect the mobile microloans sector. You see, even though at face value, the delivery channel and the contact points are all on mobile, these micro-lending products, Mshuari and MKCB, they're joint ventures between the telco and the bank with revenue split between the two. Now, since the bank side discovered by this amendment we've been talking about, it is plausible, but not confirmed yet, that the rate caps could also apply there, and that would have very interesting ramifications. So we're not talking about small money here. 2015 alone, CBA and KCB, they lent over $490 million to about 12 million Kenyans right across the country. We'll keep you updated on this story as it develops over the course of the week.